Well played.
of the bomb, like, tick, tick. That would be a clock, little Wayne. It's a time bomb, you see? Ah. Uh -huh. Travel to the halls of malice. Do something there. That shit. Oh man, look at that. I fucking love that. <laughs> hey, calm down. On your ass, man. Yeah, this is good. Good job, calm. Oh, nothing. Just doing a uh, two to thirty-three. Twenty levels above mine. Just for funsies. I was gonna make this video tomorrow, but I wanna make it right now. I am currently doing a nightmare dungeon 20 levels above me. I'm doing a uh, tier 33, so they're, they're level like 86 or something like that, 85. Something like that. And, uh,. Yeah, I've died a couple times, but I mean, come on, it's it's a bullshit, literally bullshit. I got one shot when I first walked in, because I just kind of ran up, you know. I'm specced out completely for offense, except for one, one thing, and that's my barrier. I just want to run this down really quick, and then give a quick demo. I'm going to try not to ramble. 
as I usually do, even though I've already started to. And, uh, yeah, just show you what's going on. Okay, so gear, first and foremost. We got, I'm using Blight. You'll see why. It's to pull people in. You don't need this. You can put, um, what you won't call it on here, uh, basic moves give 20% defense. That's what I was using. It was perfect. I mean, that's, that's the perfect tanky shit right there. You get that. All right, moving on. Second one's barrier. Moving on. Third one, how from below. This kind of puts it together because your corpse explosion now targets enemies and they will run at enemies and they will explode on them and then they will cause the blight pool, which is really, really nice. Coupled with the blood mist triggers corpse explosion. So if you got a big pile of corpses and you trigger your blood mist, which you're always going to be doing, then it'll <clears throat> continuously send the uh, corpse explosion. Uh, bone storm damages. You get a shield out of the bone storm damaging. This, coupled with this, you always have a shield up 100% no matter what. So you're going to be looking for in your gear, lucky hit with barrier up, shit with bar anything to do with barrier, really. Anything to do with cooldown. Um, also, I would suggest anything to do with fortified. Anything that gives you fortified bonus, extra damage reduction while fortified. As you can see, I have the blue gems in to get my 15% extra damage reduction while fortified because I'm almost always fortified. Um, on my weapon here, I've got the Shadow Blight aspect. I've got both the Shadow Blight aspects. They're both really good and have their own value. Uh, I've got the increased critical strike damage after Corpse Tendrils. This is a must for your damage boost, uh, especially if you're not using uh, Barber, which I think Barber is shit. Uh, it doesn't really work with the Shadow DOT build at all. Uh, so anyone that says put Barber on the Bone Storm with Darkness, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. It doesn't proc, it doesn't tick, and it doesn't t it doesn't proc this. I sat there, I did my testing, and I was sitting with Bone Storm over and over, and guess what? Since they weren't taking damage, well, it wasn't proccing the shield. Don't use the Barber. What you're going to use is the heart that gives you the DO, extra DOT. I digress. Excuse me. All right. Second Shadow Blight uh, aspect. Bone Storm becomes a darkness. This is a must. Absolute must. And then uh, Bone Storm consumes courses to last longer. I've got it here. It could switch. You could put this on your medallion to get the increased critical strike if you had a max roll increased critical strike damage that would probably be the best thing to get the max out of it um it is what it is okay you want the auto corpse trigger heart you want the auto aura heart and then you want the dot heart moving out of the book of the dead sacrificed all you want 15 increased shadow damage, you want 15 increased vulnerable damage, and you want 30 increased um, critical strike damage. Moving on. We're taking Sever. I'm sorry, is this Sever? Reap. <laughs> sorry. We're taking Reap with Acolytes. This is so you can make bodies. Moving down, you're taking Blight, and you're going to take Supernatural. This is to make them take more damage. It leaves a pool of blight, which ticks for six seconds. And basically what we want with this build is as many bodies on the ground as we can get. As many bodies to work with as we can get. And as many procs of shadow damage. So doing this is actually very beneficial. Leaving that pool on the ground. And then with the, like I said, with this... It sucks them into it. <clears throat> it's only very briefly, but it's CC, and you can just keep 
you can keep sucking them in, basically. It's really nice. It keeps them in the area. Um, it's kind of like having a bone prison without the prison. Because you can just keep them in that pool, which is love. Uh, anyway, you don't need it. Like I said, you don't need it. You could also go with something like Sever um, with the third cast makes vulnerable you can use this there's a unique set of boots that have that spawn uh blight on the way there and back that's really nice and then there's also an aspect that gives you a that spawns a pool of blight at the end where he where it goes out that's really nice but i found that this is better for just proccing the shadow damage because we're trying to get as many ticks as possible. The actual damage, I mean, you, of course you want it to be high, but the more ticks, the better. All right, you're gonna be picking this up because like I said, you want bodies hitting the floor. You're gonna be picking up your blood mist, <clears throat> anything on your uh, on your gear that could give you ranks of this or cool down, great. Same with this, you really want ranks of this. My gear is not really optimized right now, so sue me. Um, bodies on the floor for a ghastly. Boom. Alright. Corpse explosion becomes a darkness skill. This is what is going to create all the pools and create just tons of ticks of darkness. You're going to use this as a stepping stone for fuel by death. This is so <clears throat> after you consume a corpse which you're always doing you will always have this bonus up always all right now people will be close to you you will be close to them so you want this people will be cursed so you want this auto aura you want this this is gonna make sure when you get a boring it's gonna make sure when you spec for a lucky hit a lucky hit with a barrier lucky hit yada yada Basically, you're going to always be unstoppable, always have your bone storm. All right, moving on. Right. Corpse tendrils, and then we're going to have, we're going to take the uh, people affected, make them vulnerable. This is our source of vulnerable um, because we don't have the exploit glyph in yet. Once we get exploit glyph in, then we don't necessarily need, I mean, we're still going to keep it as this. Don't get me wrong. But, alright, moving on. Um, this is going to make sure we get fortified every time we drop a body. And it's it might take a, a little bit. Once you get into a mob, though, your fortify is going to shoot up really fucking fast. And once you keep engaging mobs, you will always be fortified. That's why you want to take the blue gems. If you... If, if you feel like you aren't being fortified that much, if you aren't moving that fast, if you aren't getting to the mobs quick enough, go ahead and take red gems for the for uh, increased health. Moving on, you're gonna want to go ahead and max these two out for your shadow shadow damage procs, and then you're gonna want to go ahead and max these two out for your bone storm. All right, moving down, you're gonna take this because you're not having any minions. If you do have minions, different build. This isn't the build for you. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and increase the bonus that we're getting for our sacrifices. This is going to take our 30% um, increased, a hey cat, 30% increased <clears throat> critical strike damage from the golem, and it's going to take it up to like 50, 50 some, 52 or 49 or something like that, around 50. And then, of course, bone storm, and then shadow passive. For the Paragon board, so far I came up the right side, grabbed the damage, excuse me, went ahead and threw Gravekeeper here, took both the damage and the armor, went up, went and grabbed this, the Flesh Eater for the corpses, went and grabbed this, damage to injured. Yeah, critical strike damage. That's why I really got it. But damage to injured, that helps. Um, went up here, got the glyph, popped in essence. Moving on over to this, we got the shadow, the shadow damage one, wither. 
coming up here, dragging shadows. We're moving on over here. We're going to be picking up gnawing darkness. And then we're going to move up. We're going to go ahead and grab lingering shadows. And then we're going to go ahead and grab malediction. And then this glyph. And then probably make our way up and out. All right. That's a lot of talking. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Unstoppable already. If you've seen my other videos, you know where this is going. Unstoppable already again. Yeah, I want multiple. Well, here we go. Fortify up. Now my fortify is up. It will stay pretty much that way. As long as I can keep. The caveat to this build is you need to keep engaging. Because you want to be proccing your lucky hits and you want to be proccing. Um, you want to be dropping bodies. As much as possible. Oh. It gives you 20% damage reduction. It's really good to have. Because I mean, you're always going to be, I'm always going to be doing your basic to get the bodies out. All right. And now, the one thing about this build, single targets, you know, is what it is. Uh, you could always switch if you wanted to something like. Bone Spear or Blood Lance. Both of these work really good for a single target. I need more time. It's really getting him. There we go. Gotta get him vulnerable. <laughs> Well, you see how fucking tanky I am. Voila! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. Fucking killer build, man. I'm really liking it. I'm really enjoying it. I've been doing a lot of testing with the core. You don't even really need a core. Uh, because the brunt of your damage is coming from your bone storm. 
but uh, I think it is better to have a core, uh, essentially. So, like I said, Bone Spear actually works really well with this build, um, especially if you get the Paranormal Bone Spear. The thing is, you uh, you want to pick up the aspect for it, and there's really no room for it in this build. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess you could shuffle a couple things around, maybe get rid of... Fuck, I don't know, man. I don't know. You can get rid of a lot of things, actually. You don't need everything, but... Really, the only things you need, absolutely, I would say, is this one, the Osseous Gale, and uh, Shielding Storm. Oh, also, really, really, technically, you need the loop of all, you need the ultimate shadow aspect. And then the Shielding Storm. You don't even need Osseous Gale. If you're running into enough packs where you're hitting, you're lucky hitting so much and hitting so many people, your cooldown is going to be so fast that you don't need the extra duration. So, technically you could get rid of this. I just like having the, the extra duration on mine. Um, I found myself, especially... <laughs> And like regular dungeons, um, and some nightmare dungeons, the density just isn't there, and I would be running out and having to rely. I would I would have cooldown. I'd be like, "What the fuck, bro?" Because uh, there was no one to kill, and I'd have to run six fucking minutes to the next pack, uh, you know, whatever. So anyway. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, it's a, basically a little updated version of what I had yesterday. Um, it really rocks the shit. I know there's variations of this online. I saw, I know there's one that's a minion build that incorporates this bone, this same exact thing. It's like unlimited, uh, unstoppable, and and the bone storm and you utilize your minions to lucky hit and that actually looks really cool i just i wanted to do the solo for dolo i actually was just gonna do a bone spear build at first but the shadow intrigued me there's just so much shadow shit and i was just like okay cool it's got two aspects and then you're stacking damage on top of stacking damage on top of stacking damage. And it just looks really cool. So, uh, yeah. Maybe I need to build it a little different. Um, the DOT didn't really seem that high. I'm still messing around with it, still optimizing. But then again, I was playing a level 87. So, 21 levels above me. When I was fighting the uh, increased health and increased defense packs, they were melting so really it's the single target i think that this lacks and uh i just need to find that right thing that right build for the single target and the uh the mobs this clears mobs no problem most of my builds for some reason clear mobs no problem single target meh maybe something like my first rogue barrage build it actually does melt single target it's just how it's just having to be that close to them with with a uh a ranged build <laughs> but anyway yeah i'm rambling again as usual and this video is way too long but thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it later